Hi, this is Laura GB and in this video we're going to look at writing our own custom smart narrative. So here we are inside our Power BI report. You have all seen, I hope, if we go to the insert ribbon, there up there is under the AI visuals is a smart narrative and I can click on there and there you are, it comes up with a smart narrative talking about trends and talking about total sales, etc, etc. That's not what I want. Add smart narrative isn't what I want it to be. I want my own smart narrative. So that's what we're going to look at creating. So let's delete that one. And actually, if we on the insert ribbon, pick a text box. And let's just quickly put it where I want it to be because then I know how much text I can put in it. So in a text box we can put in some plain text. And what I want to put in here is what's the month that's got the best sales? What's the month that's got the best growth? So we're going to go for clicking on the dynamic value. Click down there and it asks you what would you like to calculate? So I have got in my calendar, I have a year month column. So year month with the highest. And then it's suggesting things and it's using the measures that I've already created. So with the highest total sales. And it'll show me in January 2023. It's the wrong answer, but it's showing me the kind of answer it could be. The format I'm expecting it to be. And I'm going to name it. So I'm going to call it High Sales Month. And I'm going to click Save. So there we are, May 2023. And if you look in this chart down here, sure enough, May 2023 has got the highest column. But I want to put that total sales value in as well. So I'm going to put click into my text box. Ha, forgot a space had the highest sales at and we're going to go for another value and we're going to go for highest total sales in year month so kind of the reverse of what we put last time and i'm going to put this in as high sales value and click save and there we are if you look at the chart the little tool tip with my 19,000 that matches what i've got in my summary so i can continue with this and i can add in more text so let me just quickly do that and i'll speed up the video while it goes so there we are we have our four values that we've put into there and if i filter my report in any way so if i go and click on one of the visuals you'll see that it changes what's put up there and it will react to our filters that are applied and last little thing to show you is if you want to confirm what you've put in for these you can always go to the review and there you are it will list them and oh look i didn't name those last two but I could go in, edit them, and I could go in, and so there we go. Under the review button, we have our measures. So that was writing your own custom smart narrative. I'm Laura GB. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.